Beneath the sun-drenched landscapes of California, an ominous force is stirring, a tectonic time bomb that has been ticking for decades, if not centuries. Deep within the Earth's crust, the infamous San Andreas Fault is sending out unmistakable signals, whispers of an impending seismic upheaval that could shatter the foundations of the region. From the enigmatic tremors of Parkfield to the looming threat of the Southern Fault segment and even the chilling prospect of a catastrophic big one linked to the Cascadia subduction zone, the writing is on the wall. Join us as we take a look at the heart of this geological powder keg. The Parkfield Enigma Deep beneath the rolling hills and valleys of central California, a geological enigma has been unfolding for more than a century. It's a phenomenon that has puzzled and captivated scientists, offering tantalizing clues about the mysterious forces that shape our ever-changing planet. At the heart of the enigma lies the Parkfield section of the infamous San Andreas Fault. This particular stretch of the fault line cuts through the sleepy town of Parkfield, an unassuming hamlet, with a population barely exceeding two dozen. But despite its modest size, Parkfield holds a seismic secret. For reasons still not fully understood, this section of the San Andreas Fault exhibits a remarkable regularity, shuddering with moderate earthquakes of around magnitude 6.0 at remarkably consistent intervals. Historical records reveal a mesmerizing pattern, with notable quakes in 1857, 81, 1901, 1922, 1934, and 1966. Each time, the Earth's crust would groan and rumble, sending tremors rippling through the region like clockwork. This regular nature, averaging roughly 22 years between events, has transformed Parkfield into a living laboratory. The last of these quakes occurred on September 28, 2004, when a magnitude 6.0 tremor shook the area, felt across the state and even in the San Francisco Bay Area. While modest in size, the event provided invaluable data, allowing scientists to study the intricate mechanics of fault rupture and the telltale signs that precede such seismic episodes. Recognizing the research potential of this fault segment, an ambitious project was conceived the San Andreas Fault Observatory at Depth SAFOD. Just north of Parkfield, a team of researchers embarked on an audacious mission to drill nearly two miles into the heart of the San Andreas Fault itself. By embedding an array of sensors deep within the Earth's crust, they hoped to gain unprecedented insights into the complex dance of tectonic forces that govern earthquake behavior. The clock is ticking and many wonder if the Parkfield section is gearing up for its next seismic performance. Signs of Impending Disaster Amidst the serene landscapes of central California, a subtle yet ominous phenomenon has been unfolding. The Earth's crust in this region has been sending out signals. At the forefront of this unsettling discovery is Luca Malignini, a renowned seismologist from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. His meticulous analysis of seismic data from the Parkfield section of the San Andreas Fault has revealed a startling pattern that can no longer be ignored. His research dives into the intricate behavior of seismic waves as they go through the Earth's crust, revealing a particular phenomenon known as attenuation. This measure of how sound waves lose energy during their journey through rock can unveil valuable clues about the stress state of the subsurface environment. As he poured over the data from the 2004 Parkfield earthquake, a striking anomaly emerged. In the weeks leading up to that seismic event, the attenuation of high-frequency waves plummeted, while low-frequency waves exhibited a corresponding surge. This bifurcation, a telltale signature of impending disaster, was a direct consequence of the immense stress buildup within the fault zone. Deep underground, the relentless grinding of tectonic plates had been steadily opening and closing a network of cracks and fissures, altering the fabric of the rock itself. As stress accumulated, long cracks ranging from hundreds of feet to over a mile in length began to yawn open, while shorter fractures snapped shut, creating a complex subterranean tapestry of strain and deformation. And since 2021, the attenuation measures have once again plunged in Parkfield, mirroring the ominous drop observed prior to the 2004 quake. The clock is ticking, and Earth's crust appears to be gearing up for another violent release of energy. The Southern San Andreas Fault Threat A far more ominous threat looms further south along this infamous fracture in the Earth's crust. Here, in the densely populated regions of Southern California, a ticking time bomb lies in wait. 
In 2006, a study by Yuri Fialko, a renowned geophysicist at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, set off alarm bells in the scientific community. Through meticulous analysis of data gathered over decades, Fialco and his team uncovered a deeply unsettling reality. The southern segment of the San Andreas Fault had reached a critical stress threshold, priming it for a catastrophic rupture of magnitude 7.0 or greater. This revelation carried a chilling implication. The region surrounding Los Angeles, a vast metropolitan area home to millions of residents, was sitting atop a seismic time bomb. The southern stretch of the fault, which extends through San Bernardino, Riverside, and Imperial counties in California, as well as the Mexican border region, had not experienced a significant release of pent-up tectonic strain for over three centuries. As the Pacific and North American plates continued their grind against one another, immense forces were steadily building, straining the fault line to its limit. With each passing year, the risk of catastrophic rupture grew. Fialco's study painted a grim picture. A major earthquake along the southern San Andreas Fault would unleash a devastation unlike anything seen in modern times. Older buildings, ill-equipped to withstand such violent shaking, could crumble like houses of cards, while soil liquefaction in coastal areas could destabilize entire neighborhoods. Beyond the immediate epicenter, the shock waves would ripple outward, rattling the very foundations of the region's infrastructure. Major transportation arteries could be severed, cutting off vital supply lines and emergency response efforts. While the study sounded like a dire warning, it also underscored the urgent need for preparedness and mitigation efforts. Cascadia Connection and the Big One Beyond the enigmatic tremors of Park Field and the looming threat of the southern San Andreas Fault is a specter that has haunted the Pacific Northwest for centuries, the Cascadia Subduction Zone. This colossal fault line, stretching from Vancouver Island to Northern California, is a tectonic time bomb that could potentially unleash a cataclysmic event. In 2008, a groundbreaking study unveiled a chilling correlation between seismic activity along the northern San Andreas Fault and the southern reaches of the Cascadia Zone. Researchers uncovered a pattern that defied coincidence. Time and time again, major earthquakes that rattled the northern segments of the San Andreas Fault appeared to be inextricably linked to concurrent seismic events along the Cascadia subduction zone. This revelation carried profound implications. It suggested the San Andreas Fault might not be an isolated phenomenon, but rather part of a larger interconnected network of tectonic forces that could potentially unleash a catastrophe of unimaginable proportions. Dubbed the Big One by seismologists, this hypothetical event would involve a simultaneous rupture along the entire length of the San Andreas Fault, from its northern extremities to the southern border with Mexico. Such an event would unleash a magnitude 8.0 or greater earthquake. The effects would be felt across the globe. California would be brought to its knees, with shockwaves reverberating through international markets and supply chains. Now it's time to hear from you. How concerned are you about the potential for a devastating earthquake along the San Andreas Fault? Let us know in the comments section below.